The Letourneau LCC-1, also known as the Overland Train Mark II, was an experimental wheeled land train developed by Letourneau Technologies Incorporated for the United States Army in the mid-1950s. Conceived during the Cold War, its mission was to deliver massive cargo loads over vast, undeveloped terrain, especially in Arctic environments where no infrastructure existed. Development began in 1954 under the leadership of Robert Gilmore Letourneau, a self-taught engineer and industrialist known for his pioneering work in electric drive heavy equipment. The United States Army Transportation Research and Engineering Command collaborated on the project, recognizing the need for off-road logistics in Alaska and Canada amid fears of Soviet incursion via the polar region. The prototype LCC-1 was completed in 1955 and tested extensively until the early 1960s. It measured 274 feet, 83.5 meters, long and could be extended further with modular cargo trailers. Its control cab sat atop the lead power unit, which housed four 400-horsepower Cummins diesel engines. These powered generators that supplied electricity to 24 wheel-mounted electric motors, a signature of Letourneau's diesel-electric drivetrain design. This system allowed each of the 10-foot diameter wheels to be individually powered, enabling the vehicle to traverse snowfields, tundra, and desert terrain without tracks. The LCC-1 had a maximum payload capacity of approximately 150 tons. Each wheel was mounted on an independent suspension system giving the vehicle the ability to flex over rough surfaces. Its average speed was 20 miles per hour, 32 kilometers per hour, but it could travel continuously over hundreds of miles without resupply. Notably, the overland train could climb 30% grades and had a turning radius that, while large, was acceptable for its length thanks to articulated joints. Some of the most remarkable features included the onboard living quarters, radar, and navigation systems in the control cab, essential for operations in the Arctic. It was designed to be self-sufficient in remote environments for extended missions. Despite successful trials at the Yuma Proving Ground in Arizona, the project was discontinued in 1962. Several factors led to its demise, the emergence of large cargo helicopters like the CH-47 Chinook, the expansion of military airlift capabilities, such as the Lockheed C-130 Hercules, and improved road infrastructure in the north. The concept of giant wheeled land trains became obsolete before entering active service. Today, the only surviving LCC-1 is on static display at the Yuma Proving Ground Heritage Center. It remains one of the largest off-road vehicles ever built and a rare example of an electric drive, articulated, wheeled land train. While it never fulfilled its original military purpose, the LCC-1 stands as a monument to Cold War ingenuity, the ambition of Robert Gilmore Letourneau, and the brief era when conquering the Arctic by land seemed not only possible, but inevitable.